Hello friends, my name is Coco and you don't know me and I don't know you, but I'm very happy you're alive today. <sighs> I'm like really tired from this week, but there's a three day weekend and I'm super excited about it because I need the rest. <laughs> anyway, I um, kind of wanted to talk about being open to help. And I'm not saying open to helping others, but receiving help. Sometimes we're so afraid and, you know, we don't know how people are going to react that we try to build these walls up. You know, we're okay, even though we're not okay. Um, sorry, I've got, I've got an audience here. <laughs> but anyway, um, we're afraid to be raw <laughs> and... Sometimes in those moments, even when we say we want help, we're not listening all the way to the help, you know? And it's not saying like, oh, you're not listening and people need to open their ears, but sometimes the pain is so close to us and it's hurting us and, you know, it, it's kind of like being on fire, you know? When you're on fire, people are like, oh, the right thing to do is stop, drop, and roll. But I think on the moment when you're on fire, I don't know if at that moment when people are screaming, stop, drop, and roll, and you didn't know that, if you're going to be like, okay, and like, do it, you know? <laughs> um, so I guess what I'm trying to say is, you're on fire, and I understand, but if you can hear people, and you can hear the suggestions that they're giving you, try to tune in just a little bit, you know? Think of it like you're in this isolation area, but you have a radio. And for my old oldies like me, because <laughs> I was like the new kids probably don't know this, but like an FM radio, you know, you kind of tune it and you get some transmission and sometimes it fades out and maybe you're hearing just something, a family member telling you to hold on just a little bit longer, you know, a friend saying how much you mean to them, you know, someone close to you who's saying, you know, I know this is really hard, but maybe have you tried this? And at this point, you can either continue feeling horrible and feel like crap, or maybe try these suggestions and see if they might help within your limitations, you know, and within what you're comfortable for. If someone's like trying to tell you to do something that you really don't want to do, don't do it. But ask yourself, is it something that I really don't want to do because it's really uncomfortable to me, or is it because I think that it's not going to work? So... I just want to let you guys know that sometimes like a little FM radio we got to tune in and sometimes we feel like we're on fire that we can't fully hear the suggestions of others. But if we can just get just a little bit of a frequency there to understand them, just a little bit, maybe, just maybe, that's that little bit of that light in the dark, right? It's that stick that's being handed out for you to keep fighting in the jungle. And that's just enough to get through another day. So I just want to share that with you guys. I really love you guys. I really want you to do the best that you can because that's all that anybody asks for. But please, please, please don't give up. Because the world wouldn't be the same without you. And you think, who am I but an ant on the ground compared to the vast world above? But even the ants on the ground have their purpose and so do you. So, I love you guys. Do the best you can. And I'll see you tomorrow. I'm very happy you're alive today. Bye-bye.